If you want to know how to remove a watermark in KineMaster for free, then be sure to stick around until the very end of this video because I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. Welcome back to Creator Central. My name is Devin Street, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can remove a KineMaster watermark for absolutely free. But if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. There's a new video every single week showing you how to edit in KineMaster. So I have finally done it and I'm releasing a sequel to my original video on how to remove a watermark in KineMaster. This video was released almost two years ago and it's my biggest video ever on the channel. At this moment, it's got a almost 750,000 views and eventually it's probably going to get a million views. But the problem with that video is the method I showed use Mazurk, which was a partnership between KineMaster and a music company to where if you added their music, it would remove the watermark for free. Now the problem with this is the method never worked with iPhones and also over time this partnership ended so when people would update their KineMaster apps and get new versions of the app on uh, newer devices that was just no longer available. So it went from being a super helpful video to now helping very few people. So I thought it was finally time to show another free legal way to remove the watermark in KineMaster. So let's go ahead and jump over to the app right now and show you how you can remove the watermark. So we are here in the KineMaster app now and you'll look at the top right of this video that's being previewed and you'll see that it says made with KineMaster. Now when you export that, that's still going to be there so we have to remove that. And by clicking the trash can, it brings up the premium option and that means we would have to pay for this somehow. Um, so really the problem here is just how we do this for free. So obviously before you would click um, the store and then you would scroll down and click music and you would see the Mazurk option here and now it's gone. It used to be right underneath the sound effects option. It's not there anymore. So what can we do still? Well, this isn't the most ideal thing compared to the Mazurk option, but we can simply go up and click the trash can and then you'll notice there is the $3.99 per month. I have the yearly subscription to KineMaster so I just pay it completely full every year just to use it as much as I want. But basically we're going to hit the try seven days for free. Now this is going to load up um, a annual subscription that you can subscribe to through Google Play or the Apple App Store and you're going to subscribe but once you subscribe remember that there's a seven day free trial so you make all the videos you want in those seven days but then what you're gonna do after that is actually go to the Google Play Store before those seven days is over and you click cancel subscription. So when you click cancel subscription, you're not going to lose any of your seven days. You're gonna get to keep all seven days, but through this, you're still going to get to use all those seven days um, without being charged at all. So if you wait until that seventh day and then try to uh, upload the video then you might be charged and that's going to be a massive problem so make sure you cancel that right when you subscribe to it just so you get to use all seven days but you're not going to get charged at all now i wish there was a more ideal way to do this but this is all KineMaster is offering us for the moment. I will let you know if there's any way in the future they let us know, hey, um, we're going to have a new free way to do this. Maybe in the future they offer you, like you can watch a couple ads and that way you're going to be able to remove the watermark. So it all comes down to what KineMaster themselves do in the future. I'm in contact with them right now to work on a partnership with them so I'm going to try to find any way we can to try to remove the watermark in more ways. But that is simply how you can remove the watermark in KineMaster. But I actually wrote an ebook showing you how you can edit like a pro in KineMaster and if you want this ebook 
absolutely for free it's usually a charge all you have to do is go in the link in the description below at the moment of recording this video it is up for pre-order it's not actually released yet so go ahead and enter your information in your pre-order and automatically get it for free but if it's already out then you can go to the link and automatically get it sent to you but if you want to edit like a pro in KineMaster, then go ahead and click the subscribe button and check out all the KineMaster video editing tutorials. I want to thank you for watching until the very end of this video, and I will see you in the next video.